Welcome in, Tamers. BT14 is upon us. I managed to grab myself a box, so we are gonna we're gonna open it here, here and now. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's slice this open. So within BT14, we do of course have the new Ace of Cards. These are the burst evolution. These are the counters, um, and I'm very excited to see how they're gonna get played uh, in the future. However, the things I'm most looking for are Fenrir Lugamon, and that's about it, I'll be honest. Uh, on top of that, also, actually, the training cards that we will get once we uh, literally crack the top of this. As you can see here, the... what is it? Is it... it's not the promotion pack. There we go, the limited card set. These are the training cards. We'll open that in just a second. But, of course, we do get the typical box topper that has the, the foiled egg inside of it. Uh, and we have the survey pack, which comes with a couple of additional promos, or sorry, it comes with a promo, um, but there are a couple of different ones that we can get in that. So, let's start by cracking open the limited card set that I talked about. This is the training card pack. Now, this pack comes with one of each color, except for white, of training cards. These, of course, allow you to, for a cost of two, Check the top two cards of your deck, pull one of the same color as that training, so if you choose red, then you're pulling a red card, the other one goes to the bottom. Its delay effect is when you choose to activate the delay, you can uh, digivolve for, uh, into any Digimon, obviously meeting its requirements. So for example, a level 3 to a level 4, a level 4 to a level 5, all that sort of good stuff, but for a reduced cost of 2. So if you're digivolving for three, for example, it's now being a cost of one instead of that cost of three. A very, very strong <laughs> addition that is just better than memory boosts all around in every sense of the word. So those training cards are phenomenal. I'm excited for those to see how they get played. Now the egg, foil egg. Do we get a Baumon? We do not. We get a Buku, who is <laughs> just the most broken egg in this format. So that's actually very, very good. I'm interested to see how a lot of uh, blue players are going to use this in their deck. It like it just just works with new Malga as well. And then of course we get the Nightmon. I was really hoping for something like the uh, oh, they're, they're not right on here, but the Skull Knight or the Shadron. You can kind of see in the top right corner there. But we didn't get any. So instead, we're on to the main event that is BT14 Blast Ace. So let's crack it open. First pack, we see a lot of jamming level fours coming through. I haven't done this in a while, so let's see if I remember how to do it. Marching Fishes, Choo Choo Mon, Monochromon, DCD Bomb, Dokugumon, Kuwagumon, Marine Andromon, Sukumon, Suku's Curse, Sat, uh, Satsuki, Sat, Satsuki, Tsugi. Hamahime and Amimi. So another thing that we're getting in BT14 is, as you can see here, Mind Link. We have two tamers that have Mind Link, and it's effectively um, the way I've been describing it that has been the best for people is a pseudo hybrid, where instead of having to hybrid over, you can slide it under whenever you, whenever you meet the requirements. So I've kind of been describing it as pseudo hybrid. Of course, in this set as well, we are treated to some Ian exclusive artworks for burst cards, and we also have the Ghost Rare Impildramon Paladin mode. So if we pull either of those today, I'm going to be very happy. So we've got a Sayakumon, Datamon, Piximon, Lugarmon, Triceramon, Chumon, Ogamon, Wave of Reliability. That's some more good blue stuff. Italimon, the green egg, Shogun Gekumon, Seraphimon, and a Gomamon. Okay, that's not bad. That's our first SR, because we do have SR rookies in this set. One thing I don't like about this Gomamon is how like dark. It's not gonna show on camera, but in person the artwork just looks quite dark. But I won't complain too much because it is actually kind of strong. At the start of your main phase, um trash any one digivolution card from the 
from one of your opponents, and then this card can't be blocked for the rest of the turn. So, like, that's kind of just insane. So we have Shelmon, Unimon, Pandramon, Goblinmon, Marine Devimon, Pummel Awak, Kawakumon, Oromon, Tokomon, Sableomon, and Cargo Adramon. Oh, Cargo Dramon and uh, Platinum Numemon. Okay, so we we are seeing a massive influx of D Brigade once again. I think this is the third set where like the Numemon stuff is just prevalent once again. Um, but I'm not complaining. It's a very funny deck. Like, I'd, I'd love to see it actually do really well one day. But, of course, we must talk about the uh, the secret rares and stuff as well. So we have the Wargreymon and we have the Anjumon that are both secret rares of this set. Let's call Satamon. Now, I've not seen too many Anjumons been uh, pulled from any of these packs. I'm sorry, Pope. Very good card. I've seen a lot of the Andromons get pulled. Ooh, there's a new one. Um, especially when it comes to like alt arts as well. I've barely seen any secret rare alt arts. So some of the, it just feels very odd at the moment with uh, Digimon and the ratios in any of the packs. Just in general. Um, it feels like Bandai have done something to tweak it, but I, I can't say if that's from my head, so Mega Dramon, Marine Devi, Doku, Data, Heaven's Knuckle, Unimon, Piximon, Hell Lugamon, Black King Numemon, Missimon, Devimon, and Jenai. But yeah, I, let me know down below in the comments what you currently think of BT14 and what you are planning to play during this BT14 meta. Will we see any immediate bans, do you think? We've already had our ban list ready for BT14, but that was at the end of BT13. So I don't know what we're going to see. Come on, Shellmon. Ooh, I've barely actually seen this card. Gessomon, interesting. Gessomon? It's got me guessing. Mega Flame, Marching Fishes, Geckomon, Centaurmon, Togemon. Ghoulmon was very good in pre-release. A lot of decks run it. Rosemon, good to see her back. And TK, the most broken tamer in this set. <laughs> TK literally lets you check your security when he gets played. Oh no, sorry. No, he doesn't. He lets you pull a security and then uh, place back a vaccine. And then uh, you just recover one as well. And that's going to be truly broken during uh, all of the new vaccine stuff, all of the angel stuff, as you're going to be constantly recovering and TK is just going to constantly be giving you memory. And uh, I'm going to hate it. So we have Vegemon, Pummel Hoak, Vedemon, Okuamon, Chu Chumon, sorry about the glare, Chumon itself, not Chu Chumon, Poison Ivy, Dragon of Courage, Gigimon, Dino Rexmon, Cargo Dramon, and a tie. Kamiya. Once again, looking at the red side of the vaccines, as opposed to the yellow. Ty doing his work to keep the world vaccinated. It also feels like Bandai have changed up like just the pack in general. Like it doesn't feel like the tear strip functions as it should. That could just be me completely messing up. So we have Gatsumon, Ogamon, Seakumon, Kodokumon, Kuagumon. Fang Mon, nice dark animal. Kokatari Mon, dark wing delusion. High commander Mon, Tyrano Mon, Jokidor, and Ig. There is the second mind link tamer I was talking about. Ig, Ig, take your pick. But he goes along with the Luga deck. I do, of course, have all of mine already. I'm looking for an alternate art one. That would be the goal here, in my opinion, for me. Um, as well as any alternate art Luger stuff that would be absolutely blessed. Gazimon, Pandramon, Triceramon, Goblinmon, Otamamon, Kawakumon, Gizamon, Marine Angemon, Hell Luger, Missy, Platinum Numa, and another Mimi. Damn, we really have had like not many hits and we're almost halfway through the box already. If 
fact, we've only had one hit and we're halfway through, like three packs from halfway through the box. So this is quite intriguing to say the least. Does that mean that Ben have just front loaded the whole left side of the box? Skull Sater, Alec, Akua, Gotsu, Lugar, Kokhedebe, Sukumon, Saber, Leo, Dragon of Courage, Leomon, and SR Palmon. Okay, so we're getting the. We've had two SR rookies so far. Two SR rookies so far. We've not had any ace cards, we've not had any ults, we've not had any secrets. So, uh, this is pretty interesting. Pixie, Goblin, Poison Ivy, Vader, Marching Fish, Triceramon, Flying Through the Air, Tiako, Black King Numa, Ebb, Shogun, Gekomon, Plessy, and Etamon. Not bad. That is the first Plessymon I think I've pulled, actually. Out of my own stuff. Which is very interesting. Here we go, final pack of the right side of the box. Damemon, Chumon, Chuchumon, Unimon. Double the Chews, of course, off of that Chuchumon. Pummel Whack, Marine Devi, Dino Rex, Koromon. Why did I think I said Kokoromon? What is wrong with me? Gormon, Numemon, and how fitting. We get Numemon and, uh, and the Tamer to go with him. The Diggy Police. Diggy police. Right. On to the right hand the, the left hand side even, sorry. I know my left and rights. No alt arts, no secrets. So they're both on this side. Monochrome, Megadramon, Marching Fish, Vegemon, Chicken, Cactus, uh, Cyclops, Dragon of Courage, Goldramon, my baby boy. Bringing out my two tokens with Etamon on the back. I'm in love with Goldramon, honestly. I really, really... He's a vaccine, so... I could build up the red tie side of things. But I am determined to try and make the yellow side work with the TK. Like, I, I cannot wait to just mash tokens out. Gotsumon, Mega Flame, Poison Ivy, Tricera, Shell, Dokuko, Geku, GG, Dynarex, Darkwind Delusion, Leomon, and Monzamon. Monzamon, of course, has Armor Purge. A level 5 with Armor Purge. What an actual whack card that is. I will... I don't understand why Monzamon, a teddy bear, has Armor Purge, or why it has armor in general. But, you know. Bandai said it should, so it should. Right. Damemon. Oh, Ogre, Choo Choo Mon, DCD Bomb, Vedamon, Siakumon, High Commandamon, Tyrannomon, Marine Andromon, Sol Sol Solulugamon, and Metal Greymon, the first ace card we pull. Just look at the look at the pattern on this card. Of course, ace cards do have the overflow function, so though they have a really cheap play cost, in this case four. If at any point this card leaves the battlefield, even if it's in a a the Digivolution cards, you will lose three memory. No matter what. These cards are very strong in terms of effects. Soul Luger is very nice as well. But uh, yeah, like this one for example has Blast Digivolution. Also it gives you free evolution if you blast into it. But on play when Digivolving, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 6,000 DP or less. Quite a strong effect, honestly. Just straight up deleting a 6 scale less, that's a level 4 these days. Like, yeah, you're getting rid of rookies, but have we got anything to hand? Like, yeah, that's getting rid of a Leomon, that's getting rid of a Numamon. To be fair, not a lot, actually. <laughs> but it's 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 being a nuisance is what it is. Gazimon, Unimon, Kowakumon, Elekmon, Gizamon, Skullsater, Kowaku, Helluga, Missimon, Sukumon, Devimon, and... Oh, baby! Alternate Art, Aiji Nagasumi. Oh, baby. Would you just look at that. This card is beautiful. Just look at that. Oh, yes. I do feel, though, unfortunately, that 
um, the Digipolice Tamer did get a slightly better alternate art, but by God, I am happy that I got the IG. AG, AG, IG, IG, my G. He's my G. God, I'm not the right person to be saying that. <laughs> Three quarters of the way through the box right now. And we've got half our hits, to be fair. Skull and another Genai. Genai. My guy. Mm, I've got to stop saying that, honestly. It just doesn't fit me. Just doesn't fit me. Did it. Mega Flame, Goblin, Heaven Knuckle, Lugar, Pixie, Ogre, Meh, Fishy, Zebmon, Shogun, Dynarex, Platinum Numa, and there's our secret rare Angemon, 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 Angelmon. Let's uh, let's get another sleeve out. There we go. Beautiful Angemon, of course. Let's get a quick look at that up close. When attacking, by deleting this Digimon, activate one of the effects below. Place one of your opponent's Digimon with the virus trait at the bottom of their security stack. One of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 5,000. On deletion, place this card at the bottom of your security stack. Then if you have a Tamer, you may hatch in your breeding area. Nice. It's a very odd way to deal with it, I'll be honest, but... With the, uh, with the Devimon coming out in uh, is it BT 15 I do believe um, it'll be very interesting to see get my, get my boy to the front here I don't care about no angel get the boy to the front Damimon, Datamon, okay, Poison Ivy, Akua, Choo Choo, Gecko, Koro, Lu, Blooming of Sincerity, Mimi and there is Zudamon Ace Zudamon Ace of course once again acting the same as how Metal Grey One Ace does but this time, instead, he is trashing two Digivolution cards, any two Digivolution cards, from an opponent's Digimon, then returning one with no Digivolution cards to the opponent's hand. The strongest ace by far, in my opinion. Let me know down below as well, which ace do you think is the best? Which one do you think you're going to use the most? Ty and Seraphimon. Of course, it all comes down to what deck you're going to be playing. But a lot of people, I think, are going to be playing blue with the Zudo Ace. Luckily, with the regionals coming up, we do not need to worry about Zudo Ace being in Blue Flare decks. Although Blue Flare is a very strong and very apparent deck at the moment. I'll be very interested to see what goes on. Monzimon and Lilymon Ace. Three Aces. Very nice. This one, of course, when did you evolve in? Suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, then you may return one of your opponent's suspended Digimon with 5,000 or less to the bottom of the deck. Why are they giving green more power? Stop it. Hydramon does not need that sort of power. Jessamon. That's not Jessamon. Gessomon. Wakumon. Skullsator. Alekmon. Giza. Kune. Gavitena. Buka. Wave of Reliability, Suka's Curse, Jokido, and Magna Andromon. We had three aces back to back. This box was horrible. I mean, I can't say that. I got my boy. A.G. Aonuma. Four aces, though. We did get... Is that all of the aces? I think that might be all of the aces as well, right? Like, we get one of each. Poison Ivy, Heaven's Knuckle, Jessamon. Fang, Dogazbe, GG, High Commander, Ikaku, and there's the normal art for those that are wondering. We saw it earlier. But just look how different the arts are. Who drew the art of Tonami Kanji? Kanji. Tonami Kanji. Tonami. Ton Tonmi. <laughs> Apologies if you ever see this, but by far the beautiful art. I really like the texture, and you can see the light reflecting on it as well. I really like the texturing they've done on the card. Either way, we're down to the last pack. The only thing we can get now... Well, there's two things we can get now. We can get an English alternate art ace artwork. Or we can get the ghost rare Impildramon. Let's see what we get. Gazimon, Vedamon, K 
Todoku, Geku, Akua, Magnamon, Damemon, Taranamon, Bukamon, Balmon, AG, and a Fenrir to go with it. I won't complain, actually. That's an SR. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice. We only had six SRs. That's insane. I'll take the Fenrir any day of the week. Thank you so much, Bandai. This box has been stacked. Unfortunately, though, I am still missing one Lugamon, so I'm going to have to try and source that ASAP in order to uh, get a video out for you guys on the deck that I'm going to be running during BT14. But these are my pulls. You see them on deck. One of each of the Ace, I do believe. Fenrir Luger, Alternate Art, AG Nagasumi, and Secret Rare Angemon, ready to go. Both of these cards, absolutely phenomenal. I'll catch you in the next unboxing, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what to say at the end. This, this box has been kind of cracked. In a bit.